what is going on guys ghost on discord 932 and in my last video i did a punk themed battle jacket this is my metal battle jacket uh but yeah otherwise than that let's get to it uh first thing i'm gonna point out is my slayer patch oh wait before i do that um this jacket actually i got it at hot topic uh, it has a function here on the sleeves. You probably can't see because it's all blacked out. But the sleeves actually come off. They are zip on. The sleeves can zip on and off. The thing that I like the most about this jacket is that I can wear it in the summertime just by taking off the sleeves. And when it gets cold, I can put the sleeves back on. It even has a hood attached to it, but I took it off. And I took the buttons off, so it's just a jacket on its own, but it can also be a vest by zipping off the the sleeves. Other than that, let's get to it. So far right now, the only thing I have attached to it on this side is a Slayer patch. This patch I salvaged off from another piece of clothing from the same brand of the jacket. On this side, we have a bleeding skull patch right below the slayer patch sewn into the pocket below that is a pantera patch a slayer and metallica as well as an iron maiden patch these three patches right here the metallica patch slayer and pantera they're all uh bootleg patches that i got at a flea market um the only two good looking ones is the metallica and pantera patch the Slayer patch, if you've noticed something, you can tell that this is the most bootleg there is because it's missing the S. But I thought I'd get it because it's, yeah, I mean, it's funny. And right below that is an Iron Maiden patch that I got when I bought their album. It came with a figure uh, patch, this patch, and then, of course, the album itself. On the sleeve here, I have an Iron Maiden Killers patch that I sewn onto the sleeve and this is the progress I have for it so far is Misfits patch right here that I've sewn onto this side this was actually a gift to me that was given to me on my birthday by a friend of mine and right below it is a tarot card patch number 18 the moon and so that's all I have for the progress on this side of the Right below the tarot card patch, I'm going to be putting a lot of patches alongside the row, like this one. But right here, I'm going to be putting it all horror movie themed. So now, let's get to the back side. On the back of my jacket, I have a Bride of Frankenstein patch and a Monsters patch that has both Frankenstein and the Bride of Frankenstein. The, um, the army flag here, I have for it's for a reason i actually put that one there because i have an older brother who's in the military he's in the army and at the time of this video he is currently serving in kuwait and so i've made it a point to where i will keep that patch on until he comes home when he comes home i will be taking off the patch from right here and putting it on another jacket or i'll be putting it in the front of this jacket but until then, I'm going to be keeping that patch there until he comes home. At the bottom of it, my back patch, is a Misfits patch. I actually cut this off from an old t-shirt that was getting worn out. But I didn't want to throw away the Misfits logo. So I decided to cut it out and sew it onto the back of my jacket. And below that, we have a big ass safety pin. I actually got this as inspired by two characters from a TV show called Mayans MC. The characters' names are Coco and Angel. And this was actually given to me by Pure Ace 23 Shout out to him. So yeah, guys, that was my Battle Jacket video. Let me know what you guys think. This is the first progress that I have on it so far. I'm still updating it as I go. I did order some spikes some spike studs to put on the shoulders three on each side those will be coming in soon but yeah that's the progress i have for it so far i'll continue to keep you guys updated on the jacket so thanks for watching and all that and i'll talk to you guys later